This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is Alex, this is the Ramble. Yeah, we go until midnight tonight from New York City. See it right below us there? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Hello everybody, how are you? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Brother dear, you're growing older. Yeah, well, no, what happened? And now I got a, back, a side ache. Real backache. Got, it started a cup out of about four days ago. And it, when I got up, it was hurting. And it's been hurting ever since. So it won't go away. So, And then I go to sleep again, and I guess it hurts it again. So, Anyway, that's me. Hi, how are you? Complaining about my health again. Why shouldn't I? Well, if I can't do it here, where else can I do it? Well, I guess it's time to uh, like uh, um, uh, bring in some people here. And uh, I, w the one person that we bring in originally on, uh, let's see here, um, what's today? Uh, Wednesday, is Phil Meyer. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Hey, how you doing? There you go, Phil. How are you? Um, I'm good. Thanks for uh, getting together today. This is... Uh, so I look forward to this. What, you didn't have your, your um, beat up on the old people with their cameras? Uh, session? Next week. Next week, I see. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's the uh, first and third Wednesdays. Oh, it's only, oh, it's, so it's not every Wednesday. No, it's just the first and third. I see. Okay. Well, okay. But I'll, I'll keep you appraised of it until you decide to... Uh, push me off the cliff and get a real comedian on. Yeah, or somebody, you know. somebody important. Yeah, yeah. impotent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, oh well. So do I, I do I look healthy today? Uh, yeah, actually, I heard you complaining. Yeah, and uh, I heard you. Uh, I, I listened for two or three minutes uh, uh, on the Monday show, mm -hmm. and I heard you complaining there too, saying that uh, you're not getting out and. Uh, uh, that uh, you're having trouble walking and, and balancing. Yeah. And, you know, I just want to say that I've been, I had been experiencing those same things. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I couldn't do a push-up. Uh, I couldn't, uh, if, if I picked up something off the floor, this is a couple of years ago, but mm -hmm. if I picked up something off the floor, I had to roll over to a piece of furniture to push myself back up because I didn't have the core strength to do it. Hmm. And, uh, you know, I'm sure that there was some depression over that uh, as well. You know, I, I felt like I was going downhill. But once I started going to the gym on a regular basis and uh, doing some organized exercise, I can do eight push-ups. Uh, I can hang from a bar... Uh, uh, for a minute without any problem uh yeah <laughs> well i can do these things called side scales where you uh, balance on one foot and you and you put you know you put the other foot out behind you and in front of you and you know i can do that almost indefinitely uh, and i'm telling you the the, the change in uh, in the way i feel is night and day why don't you get into the gym i am not going to get into the gym okay well, you're paying 15 bucks a month. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm, uh, I, I'm, I am... Uh, no, but do well, I look healthy? Uh, yeah, you actually do. I do? Oh, okay. Well, that's all I care about is if I look healthy. Yeah, is, 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 the, the look is, is, is all that's important. Yes. Well, uh, so why don't you want to get out and, and do this stuff? Is it because you're having balance problems? I, I, no, I have, I have, I'm having balance problems, but that has a lot to do with the pregabalin that I'm taking. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, that, uh, that's that. 
you know, I mean, if I get out and I start walking a little bit, I'm not as wobbly, but I still feel wobbly. Yeah. But that's not well, unusual with per, per, pergabalin. Yeah. Uh, you know, are you taking the pergabalin for uh, neuropathy? Yes. Uh, well, you know, I'm a diabetic, and I have uh, some neuropathy issues. Well, try and find some Ozempic, okay, pal? I, hey, I got a <laughs> ton of it, actually. <laughs> and I'm, I'm cutting it out. I have uh, been controlling because of the wait, exercise. Wait, wait, wait a minute. It hasn't helped you to lose weight? Uh, not really, mm-hmm. but I'm not taking uh, enormous uh, thing. I'm taking like 800 milligrams or whatever the dose is. The people that are doing it for weight loss mm-hmm. are taking extreme amounts of it, and it can't be any good for their pancreas or their kidneys. No, I, 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 I would suggest that they, well, we should go after the doctors who are prescribing it to them for that. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, it is it is a dangerous thing. I but I to tell you about this neuropathy. I have been reducing my neuropathy by taking a, a vitamin called benfotamine, and benfotamine is a synthetic thiamine. Don't recommend any pills. I'm not recommend. Okay, don't recommend it uh, because I don't want people to take it, and then somebody takes it and they die from it, and I get sued. Well. Uh, you're, ben- and you're not a doctor, so don't, you know, I, I know yes, it's... I, I, I play one on GabNet. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, you're not a doctor. Don't don't prescribe uh, even yeah. vitamins, and even that, vitamins. Okay. Well, anyway, vitamins, what, what are they going to do to you? But... Um, well, the, 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 the downside is they give you expensive pee. Yes, they do. Yeah. Uh, so. This one's a pretty, pretty expensive pee. But uh, the neuropathy... Uh, is is one of the no, things. the best way to get rid of your neuropathy is uh, lay off the sugar. Yeah, yeah. Although that doesn't do away with the neuropathy because I was on my uh, uh, Atkins. Well, at, yeah, well, I didn't call it Atkins. Low carb diet. Okay. Yeah. And uh, um, I lost weight on it, but I did. It, I had had the neuropathy, so yeah. it didn't solve the neuropathy at all. It will well, solve uh, diabetes, however. Yeah, you have di- well, diabetic neuropathy, it might solve it. Yeah, well, the, the keto, and uh, I'm doing intermittent fasting. I know you were telling me about that, that little fad that you're on. Yeah, I, I don't know that it's a fad. It's, it works. My, uh, my sugar has been, like, uh, level. Oh, and, yeah, that's good. That's good. And, and it's been uh, t- pretty close to normal. Uh, my last A1C was 6.1. If it drops any any below that, uh, I might not be a diabetic anymore. Well, that might be good. Yeah. 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 Anyway. So uh, you know, and that that's something that's worked, and it's actually given me more energy. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, just just by uh, taking your eating window, uh, which mine is six hours, and then the rest of the time I don't eat. You know, I can have coffee, uh, water, tea, but uh, that's it. Mm-hmm. And uh, it might be something you'd want to try. I wouldn't start out with six hours of eating and uh, 18 or 17. You know, my way of, I feel about it, at my age, I don't give a crap if I weigh 100, 500 pounds. I really yeah, don't. Well, you know? Wouldn't you like to feel better or no? I, I, I don't know if I'm going to feel better, okay? Well, why don't you try you it? Know? What's it going to cost you to, uh, to go 12 hours fasting and, and, and 12 hour eating? Window? I don't want to do that. Ah, okay, but uh, mainly because you recommended it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, uh, how's your new camera? I haven't been using it much yet because I have to go outside to use it, and I haven't gone outside yet. Yeah. Are you yeah. going to try and uh, do a video with it, uh, maybe for your walk in the park? Eventually, but those I do live, so I have to do them using the uh, iPhone. Okay. Um, let's see. I, let's get on to some uh, interesting stuff. California, uh, reparations. You know, they're, they're talking about $800 billion, uh, which is two and a half times the California budget for, uh, uh, for, for reparations to black people. But California was a what state. What about reparations to Mexicans and uh 
What about re reparations to uh, Asians, and, uh, like for all the, they were exploited building the railroads, what about, which eventually wound up in California. I mean, what about all the other groups? Why is it just reparations for blacks? I, that I don't well, understand. Ask Governor Newsom. Yeah, but I mean, I don't understand that. You know, no, I think uh, that a lot of other groups had, were, were victims of the same kind of system. And, right. uh, you know, if you're going to give the reparations out, and we can question that and many are, argue against it, uh, but if you're going to give them out, give them out to everybody who was, was held back, you know? Well, what they're talking about is, is a lot of money, like $5 million uh, per person. Uh, if you're an older black person, they give you more money. Uh, if uh, they'll give you like ninety-seven thousand dollars a year for the rest of your life, but the 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 thing about this reparations is California was was when it was founded. I think in what eighteen fifty or eighteen fifty-two, hmm. it was founded as a no slave state, and uh, so why, you know, why is California taking it on itself to uh, to pay back for something that? They didn't do. Um, it, it, you know, I mean, I, I don't understand it completely either, especially where California is concerned, because it wasn't one of the slave states. Right. I certainly could see reparations for people in the South who either weren't uh, paid for their labor, okay, or were not allowed to own property, or if they owned property, it was taken away from them and things like that. I you know I see a lot of reason why the why the slave states should that be. happened to the Japanese in California. Oh yeah, They're that was terrible. Fantastic. That's why I'm saying why are just reparations to the uh, to blacks? I mean, are they the only people that have been had racism foisted upon them? I don't think so. This has been this a... has been if we've ever been had a sense of equality in this country, we were equal equal opportunity racist. You know, yeah. I mean, we went after lots of different groups and uh, unless you were white you really had a hard time surviving in this country yeah i you know i got a uh, email the other day you don't seem like you disagree with that no i i don't agree with reparations for anybody uh you oh, know i can see the, i can see that i'm going to give it to the jews oh, i'm I, not i can see reparations for some blacks in the south who had the property confiscated and a lot of other things where they didn't have rights Absolutely. Yeah, uh, you know when the uh, I guess there was reparations in Germany uh, for uh, the Jews that had their pro uh, some Jews that had their property taken by the Nazis, uh, but uh, I don't think that that was very extensive. Uh, well, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about here. Uh, yeah, but this is an example. Uh, but these people were either alive or direct. Uh, f first generation uh, uh, descendants of the people that had the loss. Uh, we're, we're talking 150, 175 years ago uh, and when California was formed. And, you know, within, within a few years, uh, mm -hmm. the, the Civil War was fought. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was the end of uh, racism, and oh, not racism. It was the end of slavery. Slavery, not the end of racism. Racism no, continued no, uh, well into present day. Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, there's a couple of other things, uh, uh, in, unless you want to talk more about this reparations thing. But I, you know, it, it, it's just it befuddles me. What, what, you know, why they're doing this and. Uh, why they're doing this now. What, well, what? California is an awfully liberal state, and it makes them feel good. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I, don't know uh, that, I don't know that I uh, agree with it on the basis of, you know, it's to blacks. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, Chinese, for instance, the ones who built the railroads, boy, were they exploited. Yeah. Boy, boy was it racism against them, almost worse than against blacks. With blacks, blacks, it was only slavery. With with uh, uh, the so-called coolies who worked the railroads, uh, they were they were literally worked to death. Yeah, you know? and Horrible. and and Tony is promulgating that by you know calling them chinks. <laughs> so, uh, Josh Hawley and uh, Rand Paul, two Republicans, two assholes, each other. Huh? huh? What? 
They're going at each other. Good. Uh, I hope they destroy each other. Yeah, really. They're 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 going at each other over uh, TikTok. I guess uh, <laughs> Ron Paul thinks that uh, uh, restricting TikTok is a First Amendment violation. And uh, wait a minute, a First Amendment uh, violation against the Chinese in China. Yeah. I yeah. say I I don't think our First Amendment applies to them. Well, it, it, it applies to the information that we're that people are getting who look, use the look, use look. The to begin with. Just stop with the TikTok, okay? Uh, I find it, want, I find it the stupidest argument that's going on. I'll tell you all the all the big problems we have now in Congress, and and all the things that they're getting together. And the, and by the way, they agree across the aisle, or on things that have to do with technology because they have no grasp of technology. Well, uh, I, want, I know. I want you, you want... to tell me. I could go on TikTok here. Hold on a second. Let me, yeah. let me just bring TikTok up. Okay, where? I don't know that I've ever. I've never downloaded the app. Oh, okay. Well, here, here is TikTok, and I'm going to bring it up here, and I'm going to start playing with it. And let's see what we got here. Well, here we got a kitty cat going after a, a, a boy. Now, where is the Chinese propaganda in that? Well, Will you what, tell me? what well, Holly, minute, let's go up here. Where's oh, the where, that, where, where that, is, that's got propaganda? Uh, <laughs> Did you see it? What? What? What's on there? What do you mean? That's that's a woman uh, in her bathing suit. Yes. But, you know, oh, oh here we cats. go. Oh, th th there oh, we go. Cats oh. fighting. Yeah. Cats <laughs> fighting. Look at this. Isn't this all propaganda, folks? Oh, look, food, food oh. growing. Yeah. Oh, more kitties and even more okay. kitties. Uh, so this is and so you tell me where, I'll tell you where this is dangerous. OK, what Josh Hawley is saying mm -hmm. is uh, he says that uh, it's a spying program. And what it is, is it's a Trojan horse that's putting uh, or, or getting data from people and sharing it with the Chinese government. Oh, really? Tell me, Phil, what what information do you have the Chinese could find valuable? What I have, mm -hmm. absolutely nothing, unless they and, want no, and, and, the wholesale and, and, price the, of certain who carpets. Was it, who was it that said that the problem is that what the government's pissed about with TikTok is America wants to be the only one to invade your data? Yeah, you know. Well, you know, they may they may want some of that proprietary stuff that I know about in the floor covering industry. Oh in yeah, oh yeah. Right. Over. Oh, I forgot about that. I'm sorry, yeah. but you go through TikTok. And you tell me, like, look at the stuff I brought up here. How is any of that even propaganda? Is is there a? It's not that that what you're watching is propaganda, but what they're saying is is that program itself is is being is able to garner information. And the same is true of Google. The same is true of 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 uh, YouTube. The same is true of uh, Facebook. All of them. They're all able yeah. to do that. They all gather data the same way. Well, you know, I didn't sign up for that, or at least I didn't know well, that that's what well, I was signing up for when I, when I pushed the agree button, mm -hmm. you know? Well, why don't you read that whole thing, <laughs> that agreement? You know, but I can... wanted to watch those cats fighting more than I, you know, uh, cared about that documentation. Uh, so let's see. We talked about uh, depression. We talked about your camera, uh, the TikTok. There's... Uh, Oh, uh, this is a lighter side. Arkansas has a bathroom bill, and uh, it's being condemned as too extreme. You know why? Why? They're demanding indoor plumbing. Uh, <laughs> so, it's Arkansas. Uh, uh, we had the school shooting. Well, oh, uh, I'm glad you uh, finally brought that up. I guess that wasn't important. No, well, I, I, I was going to get to it. it was, uh, no, you didn't uh, want to get to it. Well, uh, you know, I I feel that if schools uh, had uh, security and uh, armed individuals, oh, yeah, that yeah. wouldn't be oh, yeah, uh, yeah. a soft target for these uh, crazy oh, yeah. people. Oh, of course, of course, Phil, you're absolutely right. Not well, you, uh, you Phil, know, Phil, you don't, Phil, look, Phil. Let me just let me just forget that one, okay? For how a many second. robbers go into a donut shop and hold it up? You know why I they don't, don't do that? I don't know. Uh, be, uh, is this a riddle? 
No. <laughs> no I mean, think about it. You know, these, these 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 shooters go into schools because they know that nobody's armed. Oh, like donut shops are, are armed? Yes. Oh, I see. Who do you think is in there? Cops. <laughs> you know. Do you mean to tell me they didn't have any security at this school? Not armed security, no. N no? No. And do you I know that for sure? Uh, well, I was, uh, from what I read, uh, it was a police response that, uh, that took down the shooter. Well, yes, but, shooter, but look, yeah. you know, I mean, Phil, to begin with, let me ask you this question. Here it is. It's, uh, three months into the new year, right? Just yeah. finishing three, three, three months. Huh? Would you agree with yeah. that? Okay. How many mass shootings do you think there have been so far this year? Did they say that there was, a uh, a hundred and between 150 and 170. I heard, I heard 130. Yeah, I, but then I read something that said that was since Columbine. No, I no, that's no. since the first of this year. Yeah. Well, what, what doesn't does that, that say? It's about time we did something about guns. Uh, yeah, that we got them out of the hands of mental patients. You know, th that woman or a man, uh, she was transgender. I don't know if she was a man or a woman, uh, but uh, I understand she was in, th it, this person was in therapy and uh, that there should have been a red flag uh, uh, on, on, on her or it. Look at where it happened, Phil. Nashville. Yeah, it happened in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Go look at, their, look at their gun laws in Tennessee. Yeah, that's it's too bad that uh, there wasn't anybody armed in the school. Oh boy! Well, you know, I this is kind of what I do. You know, I I do it not that I am very religious, but I am part of a group that feels people should be able to pray in peace, and uh, so uh, we practice and uh, and you know even the people in that uh, white. Gate, uh, Texas, or um, you remember that? Uh, You're never going to learn, are you, Phil? You're never going to learn. You know, no, we have I'm never going to agree. We, on have, that we have an epidemic in this country, and that epidemic is 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 lethal, and it's guns. We are so obsessed with guns in this country, and the rights of us to have guns, and the ability to have guns, and we have more guns per capita than any other country in the world. We are gun crazy. Okay. Yeah. And isn't it about time we started putting the kibosh on that? We started restricting things and holding things back? You no. know, and not allowing you? What about assault rifles? Can't we get rid of assault rifles, Phil? Well, assault rifles assault are Assault style or... rifles, okay? Okay. They're, they're, they're uh, intimidating looking. Oh, Jesus. But... They're no different. You can also that... put several rounds in the, in, the, in the gun at a time. In the rifle at a time. Well, in California, you're restricted to 10. To 10 what? Rounds. Oh, whoop de fucking do Well, you know, they're... Well, they're that's all... enough to kill 10 people. Uh, if you're a good shot. Yeah. But, uh, well, look, we're Phil, never going to agree no, on no, that it, No, there's no dis agreeing or disagreeing on this. The fact is there have been 130 mass shootings in this country since January 1st. Okay, in Mexico, uh, you're not allowed to. No, own forget gun. about Mexico. We don't live what, in Mexico. What's happening? Wait a minute. We don't live in Mexico, Phil. It doesn't matter. But if you look at the population and Ugh. the amount of guns that are there and the amount of gun violence that the cartels and the criminals force. Phil, this is not Mexico. I repeat, this is not Mexico. It's, we're talking. It's, it's worse than Mexico. We're talking about the United States. So. Uh, okay. Uh, we're never going to agree on that one. Uh, no, and nobody's nobody around here is going to agree with you. Yeah, okay. Uh, except maybe... Uh, uh, what's it's now? just time, Phil. It's time that we started this, at least did something to prevent this carnage, and a, a beginning would be to ban some of these weapons. And yeah, make them harder, uh, make it harder for people to get them. I just think that the beginning would be 
to arm the people so that they could stand up to these uh, these these uh, crazies that want to hey, hurt. Hey, how do the rest we know of- who the crazies are? Today's very sane person is tomorrow's crazy. Uh, well, maybe. I mean, maybe. who's to say, Phil, that you, who's a very responsible gun owner and so on, one day doesn't just go berserk? Yeah, well. what's No, wait, but how do we know that's not going to happen? How do we know your brain isn't going to flip and you got all those guns and you go out on a shooting spree? I haven't flipped yet, and it's been eight years on GabNet. <laughs> yeah, no, but I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying, Phil, that, you know, yeah. it, uh, a lot of these people who have done these things hadn't done anything before that it hadn't been reported no many uh, of them just maybe hadn't they, done they, anything at all maybe they didn't do anything with a gun but they had propensity to to uh that they shouldn't have been in possession of one. Oh, because and, they're crazy yeah oh i see so now you're putting reasons why people can't have guns in spite of the fact that you don't want to see guns made illegal that's correct, because it's not the gun's fault, it's the person's uh, fault. Well, it's, of course it's not the gun's fault, but it's the existence of the gun that's to blame. The availability and the fact that it's... I think it's, it's the existence no, the, of crazy people. The fact that it's available. Uh, well, I, I think... What's to, say you don't, what's to say you don't flip tomorrow, Phil? Well, you know, uh, uh, you know what they... Look at this guy in Oklahoma. He got a, a, a rental van full of cow shit, and he parked it in front of a building, and he killed 150 How many people. years ago was that, Phil? Well, uh, it takes a long time to get that much manure. Uh, it, what, 25 years ago? But that's that's an example. Just the other day... Uh, oh, by I, the way, the people that defend him and were the reason why he did what he did are the same people who were defending gun ownership. Oh, for instance, in England... There was a, a guy with his three-year-old daughter, we're and he talking, asked somebody we're not, we're not, not to vape that. in front of her. The guy who he asked went nuts, pulled out a knife, and killed this guy right in front of his daughter and his And fiance. what the hell does that have to do with the United States? Well, if you go to Japan... Well, oh, now we're going to, to Japan. You, you're talking about every other country, but dealing with a right. problem well, in this country because they and don't have guns. is disgusting, look, Phil. Look, they don't have guns, but they got other problems. You go to Japan, you go to the subway, what do you get? Sarin gas. 2,000 people died Phil, in the subway. Phil, Phil, it has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Of course it has everything no, to do. it has do. nothing to do with what we're talking about. What they you're took doing, the guns no, away what, what from you're Japan. Doing, what you're doing is you're taking the whole the whole question and moving it somewhere else to divert the question the fact is we don't know how to use guns in this country we do not use them responsibly and they should be taken away from us that's that's what you think i think that there's a whole bunch of people that do uh, carry them responsibly and uh it's those that are non-law-abiding people that are in possession and they are the irresponsible ones if you think that by going through the background well, check. Well, if the if the, the ability training. if the ability of uh, to get guns were not as simple as it was, say, even in in Arkansas, in Tennessee, rather, um, uh, do you think that maybe that person might not have been able to lay their hands on a gun? No, I'm sure oh, that oh, they could okay, have. Okay, yeah, them. okay. Only nutty people know where to buy them. Yeah, yeah. they buy them on the street. Yeah, let me you let know, let me let some people in here. All right. Uh, oh, uh, two shows. Uh, I, I binged Night Agent on Netflix. It yeah. wasn't bad. Have you seen it? I think we watched... How much of it did we watch? It was like 10 episodes. Night Agent. Yeah, I, th- I think we watched part of it. I don't think we ever went back to it. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, I finished that one up. Mm-hmm. And uh, also, what's going to happen with the mayor of Kingstown? It's through. Oh no, it's not through. It's not through. It's not through. And this this Sunday is the last one. No, it's already there. You ran the last one. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Brian. <laughs> I know what I got to do. What did everybody say they were gonna? They were gonna come with the same background tonight. Yes, I Charlie. Forgot. This is from Friday. This yes, from Friday. Charlie. Charlie. Uh, I just want to point out to Phil. That there are no guns in schools in England, there are no guns in schools in Australia, there are no guns in schools in Japan, and there are no mass shootings 
unschooled in any of those places. Yeah, but they there's 2,000 people dying in the subway in Japan of sarin gas. That happened 30 people years on the ago. London Wait, Bridge. Phil, Phil, that happened 30 years ago. There are people yeah. walking Phil, on the street. Phil, that happened 30 years ago. In England, there are people walking on the street and people take trucks and they run them down, 30, 35 people. Very rare. Very rare. Yes, uh, uh, Alan. Well, I want to fill in a little bit of the blanks here. Phil is correct. In, in Tennessee, they removed all the school resource officers a couple years ago. And that that officer might have been able to chase the student down and stop the, the shoot. And, and why were they removed? Uh, hey. It goes back to the guy, that, uh, the cop that put his knee on the guy, Floyd, George, George Floyd, Floyd. And, and, and defund the police. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people yelled defund the police and the police backed off and now we're paying the price. Yeah, but what place. happened in Parkland? What happened in Parkland? George Floyd in Tennessee. What happened in Parkland? What happened in Parkland? Parkland uh, was... School resource uh, officer went the other way. Okay, but that isn't usually the case. Uh, I doubt that. Oh, oh. San Jose that. camera. San Jose camera over here. The guys robbed them as they're ringing out. The guy from behind the counter starts shooting. The guy shot back and shot the guy. Okay. Well, at least what, the cop doesn't care. care. What about, what about, what, what about, what about in, in uh, that situation in Texas? You Same thing. Uh, you know, okay. so all the Texas. The, the the other the other fun thing that Phil says, is but that, but that school in Texas had a guard at the school, didn't it? And yeah. and the ones that showed up didn't go in. And the ones that showed up didn't go in exactly. And, yeah, and they all should be fired. School, nobody. That's had, after the fact. Let, let, let Charlie let Charlie talk. Yes, Charlie. They had 430 police officers at that school with gunfire going on inside the school, and they did not go in. 430? Yes. yes sir. But no, nah, they didn't have them in. Yes, but in they, yes, Phil, really don't, are you questioning him? He lives in Texas, Phil. <laughs> yeah, but he's not really in Texas. He's in Austin. Uh, so, uh, and but <laughs> what happened in Tennessee was you that the make the officers. The officers ran towards the gunfire, which is what they're supposed to do. And so that's how they were able to stop the perpetrator and ju and limit the loss of life, because this person was shooting indiscriminately. L let's talk to a guy who has a daughter. Brian. <laughs> I got two. Uh, Brian. <laughs> Phil, do you want the teachers to have guns? Yes. I do not know any teacher besides maybe my PE teacher that I would have had as a gun with a gun. And maybe that's the only one. Why do you put something on a teacher who's barely making ends meet already, especially in California, and now you want to train them to shoot a gun? Are you going to pay them, you know, $100,000 a year or something? That's ridiculous. Yeah. It's ridiculous yeah. to think that teachers are going to have guns. Yeah, if, if the unions would start paying teachers instead it, of administrators. That's a ridiculous that idea. It's a ridiculous right. idea. Well, the you know, no teacher, most of the teachers that I've talked to would leave. No yeah. teacher is forced to carry a gun. No airline pilot is forced to carry a gun. It's a but voluntary you're, program. But you just said you want them to have guns. I If they want it. Uh, Suppose none of well, them want listen it, Listen to Phil. Kevin. Kevin's saying that. Well, if they, they don't want it, there's nothing you can do. Then what? Then what's the, what's your plan well, B? Then that's no, your plan A. Your plan A is to get all the teachers no. with guns at the school. There right is here. something you can do. Hold on a second, a second, Phil. There is something you can do. Yeah, what's that? Don't let anybody have guns. Get rid okay. of guns. Make them illegal. Uh, uh, you can't have a gun, Bennett. I don't want one. I, 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 I agree. I did I my agree job with with Brian. I don't think we ought to require school teachers. They're there to teach, not to carry guns. And we barely pay them enough money to do that. Yep. That's right. I totally agree with you, Brian. If yes. Alex was a professor, and he could still, if Alex was a teacher right now for radio, right, for his, all the stuff that he's learned, mm -hmm. you're going to give him a gun? <laughs> he, he doesn't want one. You know, that's not what you said, though, Phil. You huh? said you wanted him to require it. Oh, I didn't say require. Then what's your plan you want B? Teachers, listen to me. You said, do you want teachers to have guns? You said, yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, but so that's but plan A. What that doesn't mean B? I require them. What's plan B? Plan sure. B, you take the pill and you're no longer pregnant. <laughs> Charlie? <laughs> that's the morning after. <laughs> what I'm, I'm sick of hearing people say there's nothing we can do. We that's have seen what we can do. Australia had a mass shooting. They banned guns. They haven't had a mass shooting since. England had a mass shooting. They banned guns. They haven't had a mass shooting yet. Japan had a mass shooting, banned guns. They haven't had a mass shooting yet since then. Don't worry. That's what you can do. You think we ought to try that since it worked everywhere else has been tried? No, and it really hasn't worked. Sure it has. No, because there, there's still, uh, there are shootings, and uh, it's uh, innocent people being shot by bad people that uh, didn't turn in their guns. Nowhere near. We have 45,000 get... people shot by guns every year in the U.S. They have like five in Japan. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, and most of them are suicides. So One of them comes from, uh, you said it didn't CDC? work. Well, it worked then. The CDC will tell you that uh, I think it's over 60% of the gun uh, deaths are suicides. CDC. Are we worried about suicides? What is the CDC? Worried about mass CDC? Mass CDC. Had a, Disease if, control? If you had a better way of killing, yeah, that's those are the people that keep track of uh, gun deaths. No, CDC. they don't. Yeah, but no, Phil, are, are, are we worried about... I need to go get some drink. Or are we worried about kids being shot yeah. in school? Of course, or are we worried? What? Uh, Phil's what, is, what does suicide have to do with anything? Right. Uh, Charlie said that there was, I think, five, uh, 5,000 or 50,000 gun deaths a year. There was nine of them in Japan, and you said that it was all because there were... No, 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 no. He said uh, how many uh, gun deaths there were yeah, in this country. Talking. I won't get anything in it anyway. Yeah. He, 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 you have a question. You, why can't I answer the fucking thing? Well, because I was still talking, but go ahead. Well, yes, he was still talking, Phil. Yeah. Well, okay. Did you by chance see uh, Trey Gowdy on uh, who I can't stand on Fox yesterday or today, I think it was? No. no. Totally gone 180. Can't stand the guy, but I actually agree with him. What, no. did, he what did he say? Uh, he was saying that, that that there needs to be gun control. There needs to be at least at least flags on registrations he's gone 180 i couldn't believe it. i had to check the volume and check the tv to see if i was listening to the same guy i heard a year and a half ago he's gone 180. yeah what do you mean flags look like the reason this guy she, she or he whatever he is was uh was mentally disturbed they he had the ability to go buy seven guns was mentally disturbed. The parents knew it, told they didn't think that they had any guns in the house. Apparently, this person had one gun. The parents told her, her to get rid of it, mm -hmm. went out and bought seven more and had them in the house and then did this. Mm -hmm. How, why did they? she have the ability to go buy those guns? Because it's there was failure. no flags, there's no controls. It's a failure of the system. Duh. The system's designed that That's way. That's the How first that thing failure? that needs to be done. You know, there's plenty of laws on the books, but none of them get enforced. That is not on the books. No. If, if you're mentally, uh, 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 if you have mental problems, you can't own a gun. Uh, uh, I think you're wrong, Phil. You yeah, not, the not, government has to know that there's you're, mental problems. You're, you're wrong, Phil. It has to be reported by a member of the family or somebody who considers them dangerous. And Correct. then there is a red flag. Prior to that, there is no red flag, Phil. It has to be on the, in the system. Now, didn't her therapist or its therapist say that uh, she was dangerous? The parents, apparently no one said it to the right people. Yeah. Yep. And in Texas, there mm. are no red flag laws. Right. There, that's the problem. It's not consistent and across all the states. Are, are duplicating what's happening in Texas. Not right. in California. It's going the wrong way. Not that's the problem. Is all these things are fragmented all across the United States, and they need to be all the same. Well, the I fact of the matter is, Kevin. look, 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 look. It's just so time we... that we said enough is enough. You know, I mean. 
when do we say enough is enough? When is it the time that we say, hey, guns should be a privilege and uh, you, should, you should have to go through a process to get them so that we can vet you, and that really under only certain circumstances can you have one. For instance, you have to be part of a militia, and the militia is your, your state police is the closest thing you have to a militia now. But it says in order to maintain a well-ordered militia, the right of the people to bear arms shall not be infringed. It states under what conditions you can have them. So, I mean, uh, uh, I, I don't think anything could be much clearer than that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes That's got to be the first time when Phil's on that you were able to complete a sentence without being interrupted. <laughs> He's always able to do that. Not it's, when you're it, on. You it's always just that when people off. bloviate and, and, and continue and continue and continue and, and uh, you know, See, part of the news you, problem. You think that it's an opportunity. No, he, to, he is right, Phil. You know, yeah. you, uh, you kind of shut up at that point. You I was listening. I mean, the that's the way I'm always uh, do it. But you, you, you're the worst offender, uh, Alex. You, you talk over everybody. Absolute worst offender. It's his fucking show. I hardly yeah. talk at all on this show, and <laughs> yeah. I have to fight for space many times. <laughs> Yeah. All right. go well, so let's go. Show. Let's go with the news and fill again. Hey, where is where is the positive uh, reinforcement that I, your that hand, I listen like and I and I kept my mouth shut? All right. Okay. Good where boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Attaboy. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Good That's boy. A, a good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you want to go skiing with Glenneth Paltrow? <laughs> raise, raise your <laughs> hand <laughs> like a good student. Remember, Sonny hit the tree. That was funny. Matt, he, well, he, Alan, you had your hand up. Yeah. Okay. I just want to do do everybody a favor since Phil talked about the reparations of money going to blacks in the state of California. Yeah. You got to get your well move, Charlie. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here, Don't interrupt. You got to get your news right. And I just looked it up on Fox News and it's right there. Here. It's not the state of California. It's the city of San Francisco. Look it up. I could, I'll send you the link from Fox News if you want. It's Here it just is. San Francisco. California reparations amount, if any, left to politicians. If it's California reparations, it's not San Francisco reparations. Look it up. All right? San Francisco is in California. I missed this. Yeah, yeah. But it didn't say San Francisco reparations. It said okay, California one, one day, reparations. Look it up. I, I say I take a drink. Wait a, minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold up that piece of paper. Yeah, it's what did it say? Hold really up really that piece of paper. Just hold it up to the camera. Uh, what? Where did you get that piece of information? What is the source? Uh, this one was... The Sun Times. It what? was AP News. Oh, AP, AP News? Oh. Okay. All right. That's pretty big. Yeah. Yeah, not that AP is in wrong sometimes, yeah, but says, yeah. uh, APnews.com article California Black Reparations Dash Racism. What do they get? And mine and, and and mine on Fox News says San Francisco considers reparation proposal to give five million per black person. The big words. This is on Fox News, published March fourteenth at three fifty p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Well, this is three twenty nine uh 23 and it's by ap which is not fox uh because if i were to quote fox i would be told that that's oh, i brought it up on fox i brought racist. it up on fox because you love to you love to quote well, it doesn't yep. matter this ap uh, associated press says mm -hmm. california okay, reparation brian brian uh, could, we, could we talk about like some illnesses or something yeah, yeah sure <laughs> Mm. I, oh, Alex, has your doctor called you yet? That would oh. that, uh, take 10 minutes uh, time. No. Still? No. And as wow. of this Friday, it'll be five weeks. I figure okay. he's, I figure it's just my thinking, but I figure he's not calling. You know? Yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be waiting by the phone any longer. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. You could call him. Why? What happens if he called enough to message and dialed the wrong number? 
Uh, he so had, somebody else thinks uh, they're dying. Because, because, <laughs> right. because I looked, and a couple of days before my appointment, his office called me to tell me about the appointment so they have my phone number. Okay, but they but whoever was going to give you results might have misdialed. Well, the then they try again if they don't get a hold of me, don't they? No. Listen, it, these people were paid. That Well, they billed out five $5,000. They were paid, okay, but through my really various insurances what, for, what for, for $1,200. Wait a minute, let me finish. For $1,200. I fig excuse me. I figured for that kind of money, they should call me. Okay, Absolutely. all right. And, and it's their ceremony. responsibility to call me. The only assumption I can have when they didn't call me is that they got the test back and there was nothing there. That That's that an am I right to assume that? No, I'm not. I don't. Yeah. So. Brian, am I right I to assume it? Do assume it? Huh? My doctor does it all the time. They don't call. Does what all the time? Calls you back, right? No, he doesn't call me back. Oh. But, but he posts it. Kaiser posts it, and I get to see it. He, he never, he never calls me to go over this stuff. He figures I'm smart enough to figure it out myself, I guess. Yeah, but but your if your tests were terrible or something was really wrong, he would call you, right? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. You have the right to that expectancy, and for goddamn, for $1,200... Uh, and for charging me five thousand, but only getting twelve hundred. But for getting twelve hundred dollars, I deserve a call. Absolutely. Okay. He only got thirty-seven cents out of that twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. Well, what happened was, I mean, he he he, he billed me for five thousand dollars, and I was only there for under an hour. And I was off. only in there for under an hour. I would have been there less time if they had been able to find a vein. These people. Were I got so good veins. They tell me when they do my blood. Oh, hey. wonderful. I'm happy for you. Oh, she said, you got I had to talk to you. I don't want to look. Think about this. The guy had to talk to you for almost an hour. I would have charged $5,000 too. To, you know. can't wait to get rid of me. He saw me. He, oh, the doctor, saw me. I think if I were to underest overestimate it, five minutes. Okay? And he was the billing doctor in this case. I mean, come on, give me a break. Yeah, that, that just you know, call five thousand dollars billed to f Medicare. Well, look, uh, I had uh, uh, read this little thing where uh, the, the guy, this guy, was a carpenter, and he was going to, and he built a deck. And he built a whole religion around it, and his and, name was and, Christ. And, wait a minute, <laughs> and he wanted he he wanted five thousand dollars to build the deck. Oh. So he, he bills the deck, and two hours later, he says, I'm done, pay me. And the person who contracted for the deck, deck says, but it only took you a couple of hours. That's crazy, $5,000. He says, well, it took two hours to do the deck, but it took 20 years to know how to do it in, in two hours. So that's Phil, why he would That doesn't apply, apply to theory. real life here, which I'm talking about, okay? Yeah, not so not some goddamn went to school. Cheap, cheap joke you're trying to tell. Well, well, it's, it's, it's true. You know, the guy, you know, the guy went to school. He has hundreds of thousands oh, of dollars. Uh, and, yeah, and I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure he's really hurting. You know, what he's doing is, he's, is, is this guy, and you should be very mad about it, is bilking the government. I don't care. I didn't have to pay a penny of that. Because I have an insurance company, and because I have Medicare, I didn't have to pay a penny of it. But the American public did, and he didn't do shit. All right? That, that's the problem with the American uh, health care system, is because somebody else is paying for the insurance or you know, pay, the insurance company is paying for the services, people don't care what it costs. Uh, you know, and, and that's what Forbes was talking about in being able to shop for mm -hmm. uh, the, the, not only the coverage, but for the services and to make uh, medical services more transparent. So you mm -hmm. get a list. Well, if you're going to do an MRI, it's going to be this amount of money. If you're going to do uh, an injection, it's going to be that amount of money. And you can compare it and you can shop. And and that's something that they don't do in the in the medical system. You don't know what things cost. You go in there, you get service. They bill whatever they want. And uh, then well, there's let's say let's say for a moment that mm. I walked into this doctor and I was uninsured. 
Mm. Okay. And I was required to pay whatever he wanted to charge me. I have I owe, my, owe that doctor right now five thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. Now the fact that he couldn't get away with that was because Medicare says, uh, uh-uh, uh, the procedures you did are only worth eleven hundred, twelve hundred dollars, somewhere around in there, and that's all you can collect. But that's because I have Medicare and they set the prices. But the fact is, this guy, if he had a chance, would have gotten the whole five thousand. Well, there's a lot you of know, people. And, and for no the work part. at all. I mean, yeah. I did more work than he did. Yeah. You know, I had to be jabbed by these people three times before they could find the goddamn vein. Yeah. And these I people call themselves the cancer and blood specialists yeah. is the name of the organization. Mean. I'll say it. Right? And they, yeah. uh, and, and they said, uh, 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 you know, if, if you're a blood specialist, okay, mm isn't part of that speciality drawing blood efficiently. <laughs> Were there any mirrors in the office? Why? I know you're, the, why do you have to turn everything into a joke? This was, this, this is, is really, mirror. it bothers me only because, hey, I didn't have to pay anything. Forget it. You know, I got oh. the insurance, you know, but you but paid you for it and you pay. paid for it and you paid for it. You didn't, Charlie, you but paid everybody for else. Other did. people. What? You paid for it for other people when you got, uh, when you worked. Yes, uh, but all I'm you, saying is don't you feel bad that there are people like these people who are overcharging the government, you know, right. and then taking whatever they get from the government and, every, you know, it's just, it's just not right. The whole thing is just, and I should, and I, I don't think I'm wrong to believe it, that if with this kind, with the fact that he made this much money, he made 1200 bucks for doing basically nothing. You know, you know that I deserve so, a call. When you go into an emergency room, there are a lot of people that go in there and get service and don't pay. And either the county picks it up or the emergency room has to write it off. And so what these charges are for other people that aren't paying enough. Maybe there's other people that actually paid the five thousand and 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 your people only paid twelve hundred and it and it, and it's making it up for it. You're you wrong, know, Phil. Maybe that's the true cost of no, the. No, you got, you got it all wrong. You don't understand what it's all about. You don't understand the reason he's charging five thousand is so he can get the twelve hundred. Okay, right. that's the reason he's charging, and but probably, you know, and probably then he then takes the rest of it off his taxes as a as a business loss. Well, he went to the Donald Trump School of Tax Preparer. Yeah. Preparation. Yes. Right. Right. <laughs> where everybody's crooked. Yes, uh, Alan. Uh, just two things. Tony, did you get the coffee? Oh, yeah, thank you. And, and boy, wouldn't it be nice to hear from the rest of the panel about about <laughs> something other than Phil? Fuck you, Alan. <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hope that this is who I think it is because, mm -hmm. uh, well, I'll tell you why. It in says a Phil Meyer again. Maybe this will be the liberal Phil Well, Meyer. I actually had to get rid of the Phil Meyer on the screen because they thought you were all Phil Meyer. Uh, I forgot they to are. get rid of it on the screen. Hold on a second. Let me see. Wednesday. Here. Here's Ray, but let me keep my picture here. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, Ray? 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 Is this oh, Ray? Ah, oh, there he is. That's Ray. Oh, right. that's okay. Okay. Uh, because we got, we got had like 15, 20 people all trying to get on a few minutes ago. Hmm. Yeah. They were all the bombarding me with phony names, you know. Get it, yeah. The real Ray Winati. But all I'm saying is, is that I think that, uh, you know, I feel sorry, for instance, I have a urologist who was mm -hmm. telling me one day, he says, I've gone down to four days a week because I don't <laughs> want to have to work too hard for what I'm making now. Because, and it's not, I said, is it Medicare? Is that the problem? He says, oh, no, Medicare is not the problem. Medicare, uh, you, you, or you charge Medicare and, and you, your money is in, the money is in your bank deposit by in your bank account by uh, within five days or something like that. He said, it's the insurance companies that are driving us nuts. He said, they're just trying to get away with murder here. And I, that bothers me too, because I pay an insurance company, say, $320 a month for my extra, you know, my Medicare supplemental. And I'm paying them that money. I expect that they're going to pay the guy off easily when it's time. Oh, and the problem was, I had went to my doctor for my hand. I had another one of those 
shots in the hands. Oh, we'll probably see see the little dot there? Wait a minute. There, see the dot there? That's where you should Cortisone. Cortisone, yeah. Cortisone. And uh, he's leaving his practice. Uh, really? And he's going to another hospital where he's going to be a member of the staff, okay? Because he's sick and tired of trying to collect money out of the insurance companies, too. He oh, says, yeah. it's not Medicare. It's the insurance companies that are driving us out of business. Because collecting from them is like pulling teeth. The amount of people that doctors have to have in their office just to deal with billing uh, takes... Usually, a, usually I've seen account. about f five in an office that do all the billing and everything, you know. But also, I mean, my doctor, my, my uh, what do you call it, uh, the guy is my, uh, what do you call it, uh, you know, just my general practitioner. General practitioner. He has 4,000 patients. My urologist has 4,000 patients. He says, I gotta do it. He says, I can't, you know. And I would like to, I would, it would be really nice if he didn't have to have 4,000. He only had to have like a thousand, and I was one of those thousand. And he could pay attention more. Yeah. But, you know, this guy who saw me with the blood thing, it was a big organization, man. They had this, it was almost like their own hospital, okay? And they got to make money out of that place. So what do they do? They bill high on everything and hope they're going to get it. Uh, but uh, I just, I, I just, it, I, all that really bothered me was the fact that they were getting this money off of you and off the American public. And that, that, you know, and what service did I get in return? Zilch. I didn't hear from him. I don't know how the blood test turned out or whatever. So anyway, enough of that. But, you know, um, now I'll probably hear from them because I mentioned their name. Uh, no. Three it, times. Hey, there's. There are so many, there are so many uh, podcasts out there that I sincerely doubt that anybody, you know, listens to this podcast from that company. And if they did, shame on you. You know, I should have heard from you. Okay. And I, I'm happy. They won't become an advertiser on GabNet. No, they won't. I guess they won't. <laughs> uh, you know, but I mean, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. But anyway. Um, so anyway, um, other than that, um, anybody get to hear the thing I did with, uh, um, uh, what's his name? Um, oh, my man, my man. Mike Chisholm. Mike Chisholm. No. You, get, you get to hear it? It's on, it's on GabNet. It's on the GabNet page uh, on the On Demand. It's a two-hour interview he did with me about Shecky and a lot of other stuff, too. And I, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, you know. He's the guy from Canada that you have on the Mondays, right? Yeah, yeah, right, right. And he has this thing called the Letterman Podcast, which I got to I gotta talk to him about that. I, he could, at a certain point, get sued. Does he make yeah. a living doing that? I, I, no, that, that I, I, don't, I don't know. I think he may. It all depends if he's monetizing it. Another country, though. Huh? Another <laughs> country. It doesn't matter. Oh, you probably okay. could sue still out of, yeah, the country, right? No, it doesn't what would they, I wonder what would be the grounds though, Alex, you think, can they? Well, because he's calling the Letterman podcast. Which, he's using his name. I mean, well, yeah, it could, be, could be confusing. You see, many times if you use That's somebody's name, it has to, the, the question is, would it be confusing to people? And would they yeah, think yeah. when they hear the name Letterman podcast, would they think David Letterman is doing a podcast? You're right. Yeah, I didn't think of that. You know, so I, if I were him, I would like yeah. change it. Yeah, that's a good point. Add Alex, one, you, you, could probably, you, could, like you could probably add one word to the name. The and, Alex and, Bennett Letterman podcast. No, you, no, but I mean, he makes a good point. Say if somebody was saying the Alex the Bennett, Alex Bennett podcast, and you weren't even associated with it. Call it, it the like, Letterman hey. Tribute Podcast. That's yeah, you got, it's oh, enough to yeah, yeah, yeah. enough to separate it. I'm going to mention that. I'm going to mention that to him because uh, he does such a good job of it, and the interviews he does are very good with the Letterman people and so on. That he should, uh, you know, I don't want to see him get into some kind of trouble with that. I'm sure before anybody has to sue, they have to say cease and desist. Oh, okay. But, you know, I would suggest that he change it to the Letterman Tribute Podcast. Um, because otherwise, the confusion could be, hey, I'm going to hear David Letterman on this thing. That way he could start quoting Phil. 
How about the Letterman Reparations podcast? Yes, exactly. I, I was confused when I first saw it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. See, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's just I, I I like the guy so much that I don't want to see him get into trouble. But I was thinking about it the other day, and I went, I don't know. You know, I would never do it. I would if I did it. I would be I would do a Letterman tribute podcast or whatever, and then that keeps you clean. Then you're clean with that. You know, um, and, change the name to protect the innocent. And you don't well, have to is go he back. in Canada. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you don't have to. In that case, you know, you know, if, if they like complain, you might have to go back to every one of his shows and strip out the words Letterman podcast. Well, if he's yeah. in Montreal, he could just spell it uh, L E T T E R E Letterman. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but it's a really good interview, and I, you know, he yeah he we we did two hours, two hours and fifteen minutes, I think. You know, oh. so, um, so whatever. Uh, Would he come to visit you, or hmm? was it? Uh, no, no, else? he lives in Canada, Phil. How could he come visit me? I thought he had come to uh, New York. He'd been uh, in New York a while back. I never met up with him though. Oh. And I, I don't know if Shecky saw him at that time either. You know, so. Uh, but anyway, I think you did talk to Shecky when he was in New York. Well, I don't know if they got together. They may have talked to each other, but I don't know if they got together. But in any event. Maybe he couldn't get past the restraining order. Yeah. <clears throat> Probably. Uh, you know. Well, I mean, you know, things are things are better for Tony now that Shecky is no longer with us because he no longer has the restraining order by Shecky. Yeah. 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 So, I know. When I went off... Tony mm -hmm. told me that he may have killed Shecky. No. No, no. no that's funny. Not, when I used to go over funny, there, Phil. Alex, that's and I really, went up to him. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Tell him what Phil, you did. Phil, Tell that's, what not, you did. that's not funny, Phil. Oh, no, it's not funny. That's Tell him what you funny. did, Tony. I didn't even know what I was doing. I just brought over my grandmother's cake I said that I made. And what was it full of? Well, it was a rum cake with chocolate. All cake. right. I rest my case. No, but there wasn't a lot. You know what's funny? When I used to go over there, right? Rum I used to get cake, my rum cake by the way, Phil, does not really have liquor rum in it any longer because when it's cooked it's, yeah. it burns off that alcohol. takes a lot to make too than the, the vanilla fudge I mean uh, the vanilla custard too that's like a two day cake my grandmother met, used to make really how long did it take you three minutes no uh, it took yeah. us three days actually it took us a while we, first one I actually brought over a piece for you I told Jack when I brought over says, if Alex comes says, I, I gave him a couple of pieces I thought you were going to maybe eat uh Maybe come over when did this show become cooking with with uh with <laughs> oh, no, I love Tony. Cooking with my sister. Jeff Tony. You yeah. know what happened, Alex? When we made the first cake, you have to make the cake first, the sponge, and it, it uses over a dozen eggs and it fell in the oven. So we had to go out and get another dozen eggs and make it again. How much rum? So the second one rose. Yeah. How much rum yeah. did you put in it? Probably a half a bottle, maybe. Half half a bottle. How many slices of spam did you have with it, Tony? No, no. <laughs> no, you know, funny you mentioned the restraining order, Alex. When I when I said go up there with my coffee, and I said to him one time, I says, "You should have listened to Alex. You should have never invited me over." Now I remember. Now I know where you live. He goes, "So oh, it's all right. You're safe." He goes, "Yeah, yeah." But anyway, so. yeah. God, I, every I day, every that, day yeah. that passes by, I miss him more. You know, I miss it's really, like, yeah, it's I miss really, it. really strange. I thought I was handling it beautifully the first couple of days, and then yeah. all of a sudden it just started hitting me. You know, it's a strange feeling, like when somebody's gone. You know, well, it's, you still it's think even, str it's even stranger when you knew them almost fifty years. Yeah, I know yeah. it's kind of hard to be. I would imagine, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Dick, they're Dick not. Van Dyke died also, huh? Did, did he? No. Did? No. What? No. I hadn't heard that. Oh, they took his keys away. He oh. got into a traffic accident the other day, and his wife took his keys away and isn't letting him drive. Him. Yeah. Like he died. No, I don't think the he died. Accident. I would have paid attention to that one. Yeah. Look it up. Charlie's looking it up, right, Charlie? <laughs> I am yeah. too. He's in his he's in his late nineties, isn't he? Ninety five. Seven, I think. And they and they took his keys away. I, I didn't hear that he hey, died. Listen, he should have taken it away years ago. You know, I, w I won't drive anymore. I don't think I'm capable of driving. Or no, he's I... still alive. 97. 97. Wow. Yeah. 
See, take a drink. Well, you see, I could have just asked uh, my friend over here. Yeah. Echo, how old is Dick Van... Echo, how old is Dick Van Dyke? Dick Van Dyke is 97 years old. Okay. Had it right. That's what I do all the time. Like, you know, what? Who did? how did so-and-so die? You know, I watched a great documentary about... Uh, well, Hugh Hefner did all these documentaries about female movie people and really great documentaries about them and people that people would forget and so on. Well, most of them silent stars. And the documentary he did on this one was about Marion Davies. Oh, uh, from the Davies Music Hall? No. San Francisco? No. No. Anybody know who Marion Davies was? No. An actress. Was she well, well obviously, because I said it with a, he was doing stuff about. He married actors. to Ronald Reagan. No, she oh. was the she was uh. the mistress for thirty seven years of William Who's Randolph Hearst. Oh wow! Oh, and uh, she was also a movie actress, a great movie actress. I said actress. A terrific. I said actress when I was saying he did documentaries on actresses. I, all I heard was Phil. Not only does he steal Tony's background, but he doesn't oh, yeah. listen. Anyway. I heard Phil talking over him. A anyway, she was one of the most underrated actresses in history because mm -hmm. after her death, all anybody thought about Marion Davies was, oh, she was the, uh, she was the mistress of William Rand Randolph Hearst. She made tons of silent films, tons of sound films. And she mm. was brilliant in all of them. She was, she was, she was probably she invented screwball comedy, you know. She was just terrific. Was and she killed in a car accident in San Francisco. What? Marion Davis. No. Maybe it's somebody different that I'm thinking of. <laughs> no, she she died at uh, I think something like was it was it sixty, sixty two or sixty seven something like that. Okay. Um, but uh, she, uh, it, 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 it was a, it's a great documentary, and if you have YouTube, just put in Marion Davies and watch this documentary, and you'll watch a documentary about an actress you never heard of that was one of the best actresses ever in film. But, you know, as time passes, the, the, these people fade in memory, you know, and especially movie people. You know, I mean, the biggest star in the world years ago was Mickey Rooney. Would you believe that? Number yeah. one star in the world, five years running. Wow. Okay. And yet, if you went down the street and asked people who was Mickey Rooney, probably very few people could tell you. Hardy Boys. Yeah. But, yeah. but you're going back, you know. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I mean, you think that people, you know, do you really think that if I went down to a, a high school here in, in New York and I asked some kids, who were the Beatles? Do you think I've uh, got Beatles in my bed. Do you think they could name them? <laughs> ben no. I mean, you know, I, that was one thing Shecky said to me a lot. He said, you know, he says, if you think there are people out there who really know who John Lennon was, you're nuts. He said, or even care about John Lennon. And you, you know, go, you think that's impossible, but it isn't, you know. I had dinner last night with a friend, and we were talking well, about... Well, I think the fact that you had dinner with a friend, uh, I think you're movie, bragging you have line. a friend, huh? And I said, <laughs> you know, line. it's too bad. There was somebody that uh, I, I knew of that knew every movie line, uh, because there's a line from a movie that we always joke about, and we can't remember what the name of the movie is. Mm -hmm. It was... Uh, all a man needs is a good running car, and he doesn't have to answer to no one. And it was from a, a fairly obscure 1970s movie. I've tried to look it up, and I can't find I the line. I never heard that line. Can you ask Alex or Alex or no? The, the guy was this uh, itinerant preacher, and he was uh, going to go to Cuba and preach. And, uh, and so he was being warned that, uh, uh, you know, you, you don't want to do it without any money because you got a family. And. He says, all a man needs is a good running car, and he doesn't have to answer to no one. And uh, so I said, 
to this uh, gal, I said, you know what? If th- this guy that passed away a couple of weeks ago was still alive, I bet you he would have known what movie oh, it would have been. He might not have. Huh? It all depends when the well, movie came out. It was 1970s. Yeah. When was the movie? It was in the 70s. Oh, well, that was too late for Shecky. Yeah. Shecky didn't care about anything after about about 1960, 1965. Wow. You know? Uh, yeah, this might have been 72. What was the quote again? Uh, all yeah, a man a good, good, good running car, and you don't have to answer to no one. Uh, yeah, it sounds like a tough movie. I, I never thought. heard of that line. Yeah, was, I love that line. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And it's so true. <laughs> Probably Smokey and the Bandit. No, oh, no, that, 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 no, that was a good movie. I saw that in the theaters. Somebody, oh, who was it? Tennessee Williams said about Marion Davies because he said she was so wonderful and terrific. And he said, Marion Davies was so good she made up for the rest of Hollywood. <laughs> Isn't that a great quote? Yeah. You know? Hey, the Symphony Hall was Louise M. Davies. Who was she? What did What did she do that... I don't know, but it's not Marion Davies. Oh, well, I, I, you know, when you said Davies, I said, was that, was, was that the symphony? Marion Davies is the one that was killed in a car accident in San Francisco. He's Louise Who? M. Davies. Marion? No, Marion Davies was not killed in a car crash. I think a taxi cab ran into her no, and she some di- other uh, Hold on a second. Really? Echo? Yeah. How did Marion Davies die? Marion Davis died on September 22, 1961, at the age of 64 due to cancer. Due to cancer. Ooh. Cancer. There you go. Close name. Uh, what you think? If there was a silent film actress who died in San Francisco in a car crash, and I can't remember what her name was. I'm trying to remember now, but it wasn't. It wasn't uh, Marion. It was like in the early 80s or something. Would Echo know? Echo knows everything. Ask, hey, Kip, Phil, I asked Chat GPT where that quote came from. It said The Outsiders, directed wow. by. Oh, I saw that. I read that book. Uh, and it was the, the uh, character Dallas He's Winston, the... portrayed by actor Matt Dillon. Matt Dillon, yeah. Wow. The Outsiders. Matt the out- that was a good book. That was a good book, Carl. Never yeah. saw it. You never saw that? I read the book. I didn't see the movie. I'm surprised you didn't see the movie, Ray. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Maybe I, I did. I, I don't remember. I don't know. I, I've Googled that so many times, never found it. Chat GBT. Well, ch- you know the chat, the AI thing. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to think who the actress was that did die in a car crash, and she was um, Marilyn. Uh, no, the busty one. Uh, no, you're thinking of Jane Mansfield. Oh, Jane Mansfield. Oh, you're talking about the silent film actress? Yeah, there was some actress uh, that died. Mar- Mary Martin. Was no, she Mary silent? Mary Martin and Janet Gaynor. No, Janet. Hold on a second. Exactly. Echo, how did Janet Gaynor die? Janet Gaynor died on September 14, 1984, at the age of 77, and the cause of death was complications from a 1982 traffic accident. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Janet Gaynor. You know what Janet Gaynor is Peter famous Pan for? Is dead? Do you know? It was both both Janet Gaynor and Mary Martin were in the car. We're in the car. And a taxi cab hit them. Yeah. The, the person that was driving the cab was an acquaintance. But do you know what Jan- Janet Gaynor is most famous for? Legs. Well, besides the fact that she was in a film called A Star Is Born, the original Star Is Born. Oh, I didn't see that original. She won the first Academy Award for Female Actress of the Year. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, the person that was driving the cab was uh, an acquaintance, a friend of a friend, Robert Cato. Went to prison for manslaughter. What? You went to prison prison. after that? Yeah, for manslaughter, Hmm. for the accident. She was pretty old at the time, though. Yes. Google says that Mary Martin died of cancer. Yeah, Mary Martin didn't die of that automobile crash. But oh, I remember well, she, she was, was in, in the in crash the... with Janet Gaynor. Right, right. Uh, yeah. Oh, she didn't, yeah. Somebody died in there. Let me see who it says here. Um, Miss Martin's companion and press agent, Ben Washer, died there. Really? In, 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 Whatever. Anyway, does anybody uh, watching right now care? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was the Outsiders. Uh, well, maybe they made a mistake. That chat GPT makes a lot of mistakes. Yeah, he does. 
But it does. I asked it about me, and it got everything wrong. It said I was artistic director of some theater company that I've never even worked at. They got Alex oh. wrong too. They got me wrong like crazy. Yeah. I had to tell it, and Why they got so much of stuff. Wrong. Director of a theater. No, I founded a theater company like 20 years ago that I was part of for 15 years, but it got the theater wrong. Oh. And, you know, it, it sometimes is right. It, you know, when you, when I ran Phil's name, it says owns one of the best carpet stores in Contra Costa County and is a gun nut. <laughs> you want to know something? I got to tell you something. As I watch TV a lot, I, there are all these stories about, oh, tonight uh, uh, the Directors Guild of America is all pissed at uh, AI. Right. And, uh, you know, the, all these people are going after AI as well. And I'm saying, who gives a diddly? You know, I mean, yes, these things are going to be invented, but you can't be afraid of them. You know, no. you have to learn to live with them because they're going to exist whether you like it or not. You know, oh, well, uh, they might uh, they might replace actors. Well, it, maybe they will replace actors. I mean, Netflix has pretty well replaced the movie theater, hasn't it? You know, things change and times change and, you know, get used to it. Get over it. Yes. Yeah, pretty soon meat's going to come from stem cells. Get over it. Brian. And 3D printing meat now, too. So, um, uh, what? What? So, yeah, there, Google it, Google it. So, so there's the the problem with this whole chat stuff now. The AI stuff, sorry, the the AI stuff. Yeah. So they have they have now where they they can have recording of Alex. They have all this data from Alex, what Alex sounds like, and now they can start telling, they can start typing, and it'll so, start talking in your voice. Yeah. So they did this. They did this on this KMBR oh, on, on the Sports Channel. It was the the 49er head coach, and. Wow. They went and put this really generic sentence together, and it was the coach talking. It wasn't the coach talking; it was AI, but it sounded just like the coach, identical. You could see the inflection of his voice and everything. It sounded just like the coach. And well, you can type it in real time or say it, and it'll translate it like almost oh, immediately. That'd be great on Fox News. Somebody it could be Donald Trump's voice saying, "Yeah, I didn't have sex with the girl I had." I, I gave uh, yeah, but her we, boyfriend. You know, the thing is, this has been sex. going on for a while now. I mean, we've been deep having deep fakes for quite a while now, yeah. in which you go yeah. on to TikTok, see how many times you see Brad Pitt, for instance, and it isn't Brad Pitt. Yeah, yeah but if yeah. it's the president on the radio saying that we're being invaded and everybody run for cover. Yeah, that's a problem. Well, I still don't think that you can control AI. Oh, yeah. I mean, AI is a technology, and it can either be used for good, it can be used for bad. Most technology we have today can be used for good or used for bad. I mean, this thing called uh, called an iPhone uh, can be used for good. I can do a lot of wonderful things with it. But it's it got be, AI on it. But, but they have to have. That's I think what they're asking for is some kind of regulation. But it can it. also be used for something else, and and it can be for bad. So uh, I mean. We just have to be able to distinguish and, and which is which and when it is and when it isn't. And many times not take it for granted, as Phil probably would, that that really was Joe Biden talking. <laughs> because uh, So, so with know. an iPhone, when you ask it or, or your whatever the, the thing is that you ask uh, Alexa or whatever, mm -hmm. that's AI. When you ask them questions, when you ask... Syria question. That's Basically, AI. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's AI working. It's very loose AI. It's not uh, not yeah. specific heavy duty AI. But well, I mean, I can buy AI programs that now where I can have it just use my voice and I can type in a script and I can have it write the script and then have it say the script in my voice. I don't have to do any of that. And well, correct your, the spelling and grammar. Yeah. And take your uh, uh, your dictated life uh alex bennett life and put it into print oh i can do that now i could have done that for years now all i have to do and it, 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 here on my computer uh i have a program that will take dictation my my so uh, my uh, word uh, microsoft word will take my dictation so, so, so all i have to do is to run the audio into word and mm -hmm. it'll just write the whole thing up for me 
Yeah, absolutely. Google I, Docs I, does I, the same thing. Yeah, I could yeah. have done that. So I, I, I could have done that quite a few years ago. So hmm. it's no big deal. You know, Those all I'm saying is is that we, we're going crazy over TikTok and we're going crazy over AI. Come on, AI is the flavor of the month, you know? And um, how people are going to use it, who knows? Well, you know? they've proven at some universities that it can read people's mind. No. And that's getting dangerous. No, it can't. How does it read someone's mind? It can't read people's well, mind. Well, they, they put the person in an mind. MRI scanner. It can read Alan's mind because his mind's always in the gutter. They can put somebody in an MRI scanner, and they've done this, and they can read their mind. Up. I don't know. I don't know how it works. But did did you guys did you watch sixty minutes this last week? Yeah, that was good. About what? Yeah, about the the touching now, how they can feel the sensing. Oh, well, that's a different nerve. thing altogether. But that's something very good. That's yeah. scientifically wiring your mind. Yeah, they can wire your mind so that if you lost, say, a hand and you now have a prosthetic, and then you touch with the prosthetic, you can actually feel stuff now. Yeah, yeah. hold an egg and, and yeah. 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 They've been doing that for about uh, six or seven years out at uh, Yeah, but I mean, right. but the fear behind all of this is simply media driven. Because every night on the six o'clock, six thirty news, here's Lester Holt. Oh well, a new problem with AI. Blah 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 blah. You know, and AI has become this byword for really something that hasn't been completely developed yet. But we knew it was coming anyway. I mean, I want to ask Patrick if he want if he was at all interested in these legs, these bionic type legs that would allow him to walk. And he said no. He, he yeah, that yeah, he wouldn't want to to use them. You know. Really? Yeah. No. Why not? Yeah. Uh, you know they 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 have these legs and they and they they hook up in a very similar way. I would imagine to to where the the brain can get them to move and and uh, yeah. Wow, walk. that's amazing. I would I would want it. I think. I don't know though. I, mean, I don't know. I think position. people people who are used to not having a particular function. One time yeah. I asked I asked Stevie Wonder. I said, uh, "If you could see, you know, they told you they had some kind of operation they could give you where you could see. Would you do it?" And he said, "Oh well, I, there is an operation that could allow me to see." He said, really? yeah, he said, I didn't go blind till I was like two years old or something like that. And they could re-initiate the optic nerve or whatever. And he said, I told them no, because I wow. got, because I got this far in life and he was in his twenties. He said, without sight. And it, I would be completely disoriented. My whole life would change if I had to see, you know, that makes sense. Yeah. Probably yes. Uh, Charlie. Last I word. just wanted to have a, a clarification from your early discussion. The violation of the First Amendment with TikTok is the 150 million Americans that use TikTok. Their rights are being violated. And that's Their what uh, Rand Paul said. I yeah. think and you I should. I think it, 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 look, if the government wants to say that in government com computers you can't use TikTok, fine. Okay. But if they tell people you can't use TikTok, yeah. it has to be up to them whether they want to use TikTok or not use TikTok. I don't care. Let them, you know, as as uh, Bubbles used to say, let them steal my identity. Now they'll have no life, you know. So I mean, <laughs> hey, so Phil, Phil, if technology can give you a sense of humor, would you would you want it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, oh, oh, only if I could give it to you. We've <laughs> run out of time here. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, uh, Kevin. Thank you, Charlie. Uh, thank you to uh, Brian. And thank you to our, our good uh, friend uh, here, uh, Alan. And Tony, thank you. And to Ray, uh, also a big thank you to you. Why don't you all give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. And there they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, they'll be here, I'm sure, tomorrow night, many of them. Uh, it was a great, uh, great show tonight. Nice show. I uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, Jack Bishop is next with the intersection. He'll be taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. I'll see you again tomorrow night, as always, same time, same station in life. So in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay. 
Good night, everybody. See ya. Mm-hmm.